Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to use an exponential function for things like investing money uh, or losing money, you know, an investment, making money. You bought a car, you're selling a car, etc. In this example, you, you invest, uh, you have 26,283 bucks in investment making 6% a year. How much will you have after 20 years? Okay, well, you start with Y equals AB to the X. Y is how much you, money you have at the end. X is the time or number of years in this case. A is the initial investment or the initial amount of something and B is what's called the multiplier, okay? So Y equals my investment right now is at 26,283. My multiplier is 6%, okay? So if I'm making 6%, okay, I'm starting with what I have, which is one, and how do you write 6%? Percent? 0.06. So this is my multiplier, okay? Now, I'm gonna raise it to after 20 years. So now I bust out my calculator. If I put it in the calculator, you just put in what you see, 26283 parentheses 1.06, close the parentheses, raise to the 20th equals you will have about $84,293. Now, that's if you have this right now. But the next question is, how much did you have five years ago? Okay. Now, a lot of kids want to mess around with the multiplier. Don't do that. To do five years ago, well, if right now you currently have 26,283, the multiplier is still 1.06, but five years ago, you raise it to the negative five. Again, don't go jerking around with the multiplier. So now we take two, six, two, eight, three, and you can practice at home with your calculator, the multi times 1.06 raised to the negative five. So your investment five years ago was only worth about 19,640 bucks. That is how you can figure out how much you make or lose in any kind of an investment where you're getting an interest.